So in this video, I'm going to go over a basic program I wrote that generates magic squares for any odd number integer. And in case you haven't watched my other video and, or you don't know what a magic square is, I recommend you first click the annotation below and watch my video on how to create a magic square by hand because I think that'll give you much more insight uh, into this video and this process. So I did have a few people ask me um, whether the process and I explained in my previous video to make a 3x3 three three or a 5x5 five five magic square, whether that could be used for any odd numbered magic square. And the short answer is yes. And then in this video, I'm going to kind of show you that process or show you that it's the same algorithm or the same pattern used to make the um, make any odd numbered magic square. So. And I will include the code for this at the end of the video. I'll include a link to my GitHub and you can get the code from there and look at it and play with it and manipulate it as you wish. So let's get started. So this is just a basic intro for if you ever want to use it. And so we'll start with a basic 3x3 three three magic square. So I'm going to um, enter 3 to indicate that. And this is exactly what a 3x3 three three magic square looks like. And it's actually very, it's the same as I just uh, demonstrated in my video to create by hand. So remember, just a quick um, reminder that with the magic square, all the rows, all the um, diagonals, and all the columns add up to the same magic constant. And a magic constant differs between the size uh, based on the size of the magic square. So for a 3x3 three three magic square, the magic constant is 15. So remember, if you add this up, you'll get 15. 8 plus 1 plus 6. If you add this, you'll get 15. If you add this, you'll get 15. All of that will give you 15. And so that's pretty basic, and you guys saw that if you watched the previous video on how to do it by hand. So let's do a little more interesting. Let's do a 7x7 uh, seven seven magic square. So now the magic constant is 175. And so really, if you add all of these up, which I don't really think I'm going to do right now, but if you do add these up, it will give you 175. If you add any of the rows, the columns, the diagonals, it'll always give you 175 for a 7 by 7 magic square. And so let's run this again. And then if you do end up running the program, you can just, if you don't want to see all of this, basically what this does is it verifies in the background that this program is correct. So it verifies all the different rows, the columns, and the four diagonals. Um, that's just what that's there for. So you can turn it off if you feel like it's annoying or you don't want to see it anymore. So it'll, it'll tell you that it's been turned off. So let's go, let's do something a little more interesting. Let's do 15 by 15. So now our magic constant has gone all the way up to 1,695, right? And really, if you add all of these up, you will get that number, um, any of the columns, any of the rows, any of the diagonals. So it's really a very um, interesting concept. And let's do two more. Let's do a... So, and yeah, just in case, so if you do try to do a magic, I mean, a, uh, an even number, integer it's not going to let you so it's going to just tell you to please enter an odd number and that's just because this concept or this uh, algorithm doesn't work with even numbers so let's do let's do 33 and so now the numbers start kind of slipping off so it becomes but really if you do add these you will get the number you want but yeah they do start to sort of overtake the screen here the last normal one we had was 15 by 15 but yeah this will get kind of crazy if you decide to go further and further and so let's actually do one more just for the sake of it and let's turn off the verification um i don't know i mean i don't think this is even gonna finish but last time i tried it it actually messed up my my terminal program here and i had to shut it off but anyway let's just see what happens yeah, so it might take a few seconds, so, huh, that's not cool. Okay, so it looks like I'm not able to do that, but let me see if I can try to do something equally interesting, but just not as radical. Okay, well, I guess that is kind of crazy, but yeah, there you go. There you have it. That's a 9,999 by 9,999 magic square. Um, so yeah, once again, the code 
now you can click on the link here and you'll get the code to from my github um, feel free to do what you wish with it you don't have to link back to me um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you better insight into magic squares and yeah thanks for watching I don't know how long this is going to go so I'll just end the video here but yeah feel free to do this on your own it's loads of fun seeing a bunch of random numbers on your computer well they're not random they mean something so yeah enjoy thanks for watching